Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be reacting to The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 5 of, or The Walking Dead Dead City Season 1 Episode 5, my bad. What is this one called? I don't even know what this episode's called. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Anyways, this show is, like, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, I feel like everything is sort of, um... <clears throat> Like, they're doing a really good job at not slowing down the pace of anything. They're keeping everything, like, you know, keeping the the audience on their toes, keeping everything. Everything just feels so fresh, because obviously we've never had a show take place this much, this predominantly in the city. Um, like, we've been in Atlanta before, we've been in Washington, D.C., but it wasn't, like, set in Atlanta City or, like, set in Washington, D.C., um, <clears throat> this is, so far it seems like 95% of the show is taking place in the city, um, which makes sense, it's called Dead City, but, um, yeah, so last episode, there was a lot that went down, and it was honestly a shorter episode, it was only 40 minutes, and there was, they still managed to pack it full of things, um, so at the very end of the last episode, we saw Maggie, Jenny, uh, I always forget their names, I think it's Amaya and Tomaso, Tomaso, um, they're going into the sewers because they were trapped by walkers in the Croats sort of place that is like sanctuary that whatever. Um, so they're down, going down there. Walkers seem to have been breaking in at the very end. Um, but I do believe Tomaso said that, um, down below in the sewers, there's lots of walkers and there's nitrogen there's something down there that's not very safe for them to be breathing but that was their best shot at surviving basically so that's where they're going um Negan is with the marshal and the marshal is now has him at gunpoint or nail gunpoint I don't know um whatever the hell those weapons are that they have um and yeah the marshal I'm very back and forth on how I um, feel about him because at some points I'll be like, oh, I love the marshal. He deserves, you know, like he doesn't deserve to be killed. Um, and then he'll have his moments where I'm like, okay, what are you doing? Like you can just save your life and, um, you would have fallen into a bunch of walkers and been eaten or you would have bled to death from your leg, but he saved you both times. He helped you from falling to your death and you still just hold him at gunpoint. And I get, he has these principles and morals and laws that he wants to follow, but it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion because if someone saved my life, I would be I would thank them. I mean, I get I'm not in a zombie apocalypse, so it's not just like I can say this for that, but he just, you know, I don't know. Um I really want to see Herschel this episode. We haven't seen him since episode 2, I believe. And yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention is I feel like this show has done a lot more at setting up a story, I mean, Maggie has pl a ton has plenty of story, like, I'm not complaining at all, I'm just saying this show has done a really good job at setting up story for Negan. Negan has a story with the Marshal and the Croat, and, um, obviously he has a story with Maggie a little bit, and, like, the Herschel situation, and then he also has the story with what happened with the guy who he, who he killed, and with Jenny, um, so it's just, like, Negan just has a lot more to his character than I anticipated coming into this show. I When I came into the show, I anticipated it being more centered around Maggie, which I still feel like it is, but there's a lot of story that Negan has going for him right now in the current point that we're at. And, yeah, I make it, I'm just so excited to jump into this episode. Um, I still don't know what it's called. Okay, so this episode's called Stories We Tell Ourselves. Just wanted to put that in there. I'm just ready to get into it and see what is going to be going on because there was a lot going on at the end of last episode. Um, so yeah, let's get into this episode. Is this back down in the sewers? Yup. Oh, it was methane, not nitrogen. You, uh, that freaking rat. It smells like... Passive aggressive Maggie is my yeah. favorite Maggie. Yeah. 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 He's bet. He's bet. 
he's being sketchy. He's freaking bet. No, I must have missed something. The Barazzi. Thank you. That is a good question though on how they did they know because is there like a rat? I just like don't know who it could be if there was like a rat. It's obviously not Maggie. I don't, it wouldn't really make, it would not make sense at all if it was Negan. I don't know, like, one of those two, that wouldn't make sense either. But I think that that guy's bet because he, she was going to, like, look for something. He's like, no, no, I got it, I got it, which is usually a sign that the person is freaking bet because they don't want them to see their bite. And it's obviously not Jenny, she doesn't talk. All the other characters are already villains that we are fighting against, so I don't know who it could be, honestly. What is going on here? Is he taking him somewhere? You do remember I saved your ass back then. Yeah, exactly. Whatever that was, not nothing. Those assholes, they damn near killed my wife. If you had seen what she looked like when I found her, I guarantee you'd done the same. In my opinion, that's like a valid reason. Because like everything is so different in the apocalypse. Like, for men to just take advantage of a woman. Of a woman. Mm -mm. No thanks, not okay in my book. Yeah, why don't you guys just work together and not, like, hold him hostage and, like, try to kill him? There's a reason you're not killing him yet, and it's because you know you need him to survive. So. They should, like, I mean, they probably don't have anything, but, like, put something over their face so they're not inhaling as much, and it's, like, kind of filtered. I don't know. And they're also not moving super fast, which they probably don't want to wake up the walkers, but also, like, yeah. sounds like it's really bad for them to... Check this out. What the hell is that? But it sounds like it's really bad for them to breathe it the in, that? so... What is that? They just need to get out of these oh. sewers. I'm... Oh. What? <gasps> it's from them. It's from the walkers that they are, like... Putting in the things and. Trying to go after Negan. He wanted you to stay at the bricks. So close. Who do you think he's wanted for? Stealing a loaf of bread. You do not know the monster that I know. And if you stick around long enough, you will. Period, Maggie. I just love Lauren Cohan so much. Like, she's such a good actress. The Walking Dead franchise in general doesn't win enough awards for how amazing the storytelling and the acting is. The acting in this show is honestly the best acting in any, like, franchise ever. I'm sorry if, I know that's going to upset people, but maybe not yeah, this Jeffrey specific Morgan show, but, like, so Jeffrey Morgan and Lauren surprised. Cohan and Andrew Lincoln, Melissa McBride, Norman Reedus, Denai Guerrera especially, all these, like, main characters for The Walking yeah, Dead so are top-notch so amazing. Here, no boats. Don't need boats. Just a dock. It floats. All we got to do is disconnect. You're from here. You're in New York. Yup. Work for the state. What were you? Work for the state too. Gym teacher. Gym teacher. Something about him being a gym teacher is just too funny. Also, are we not going to see any variants in this show? Because that was like a big thing at the end of The Walking Dead. And I'm just really needing to know more about that. How did they just get through there? Oh. Perfect, okay. Literally, where did this even ha come from? Like, what? They're so calmer on walkers now, almost. Like, just... Why? I don't know why they put themselves in the position to be trapped. What? That's an interesting way to get in. I feel like this episode is going to be kind of a little bit slower. And it's... <coughs> excuse me, it's going to have... Like, those two kind of working out their issues while Maggie and Jenny and them try to escape the tunnels. Um, hell no. Nope, I'm scared. They need to get out of here right now. Let's get out, guys. This place is disgusting. It's like you're going to get some sort of illness. That's going to be like worse than death or something because this place oh, is disgusting. Shit. Oxygen. <gasps> Crazy lucky, right? There's only two? Perfect. It's fine. 
Why wouldn't she take it? How they knew. Does she know that he's bit or something? Or like, why didn't she hey, use it? No, 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 no. It can't be Luther. It was him. You knew exactly how to get out last night. You knew to go to the sewers. You even knew how to get inside with that bullshit no-no story. Probably gave him a signal to let him know that we were coming. Paranoid, you know that? No, she's right. She's so smart. Before you found the oxygen tanks, why did you take your pack off? Do you want to say it or shall I? He had the tanks in his pack the whole time. She's too smart. Oh my god. So he's not bit. That's why. Oh my gosh. I thought I was predicting this whole episode that he was bit, but it was because he was hiding them. So he's a little traitor. Maya. Oh, Jenny's just like, hey. He's gonna hate Maggie you now for figuring that out. Now I'm scared because if he tries to touch Maggie, mm -mm, that's just not gonna work for me. Well, sorry, you're too stupid covered up and you betrayed your girlfriend. Like, how's that Maggie's fault that she's just too smart and figured it out? Is that a dead animal? Please tell me that's not a dead animal. It's a dead animal. Okay, this is reminding me of Lizzie. You know, killing animals as a kid is the first sign of being a psychopath, so. Well, I don't know if the person here is a kid, but it's giving psychopath. Oh, is that a dead person in the chair? Perfect, okay, so let's just get out of here and stop exploring. Oh my god. They need to get out of here. What even is this? Right. Why is he thinking back to his brother? Oh, shit, Negan. Well, considering that he has a weapon, you're probably not going to get that far. But he is injured, so. But what's he going? Like, where's he going? What's he trying to do? I feel like you're just gonna run into a crazy person in this place. Oh my god! Ugh. That just reminds me of season one, episode one. And I feel like you're gonna regret opening that. Believe it or not, I don't like leaving people behind to die. Then what was the point of that? Well, I mean, I get it if he's still trying to kill you. But. So tell me, why are you doing this? Yeah, like, is it for your brother, or what? Oh, this guy's scaring me. Where's Maya and Jenny? Oh, right there, okay. I don't trust him now at all. Like, I don't... He may say he's doing it to try to keep Maya safe, but I do not believe that. Oh, God, it must be hot. Maggie's stripping. Oh, I actually would love her for her to come. I love her. She's such a sweet character. And this guy's not trustworthy. Like, he either needs to go, or I don't know where, what else could happen for him, but he just needs to go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Maggie, say you need oxygen. Maggie. Why can't she just say something, please, Maggie? You're stressing me out. She's gonna, like, pass out or something. Oh my god, Maggie, you're literally stressing me out so bad. <gasps> oh, no! Nope, don't want to see this again. Why do they keep showing this? Nobody watching this wants to see that. You're not fine, you just passed out. Like, what, girl? Why won't she accept the oxygen? Like, please. I actually really like Amaya. She seems like a really sweet character. Oh shit. Oh no, okay. We had our chance to rest. Let's get up and run. The Croat knows about the new hilltop. Oh shit. I don't think what, what he did was like, you know, out of like it takes to make it safe. him trying to hurt anybody. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would give up uh, their hideout to save themselves, but oh no, oh no, 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 no! 
if Amaya gets bit, I'm gonna be pissed. Was she bit? Was she bit? If Amaya was bit, I'm gonna go crazy. Are you kidding me? No! I'm actually so mad right now. He was bit too? What? No! Oh my god, I'm pissed. I literally was like just about to say I need Amaya in season 2. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I'm so mad. I loved Maya. And he was like, fine. I mean, what he did wasn't the best thing ever, but he's like, he seemed like a good person. This is your fault, Jenny. Just like I said, you're going to get people killed. Oh my god, I'm actually so upset right now. I really did not want Maya to die. I really want her to be in season two. Yummy! What in the world? What in the world is this, like, performing center? Out of my way, bitch. Oh, period, girl. What is in there? Or, who is in there? Who is that? It's none of your concern. Oh, she's kind of creepy. My plan was a success. So, the threat has been neutralized. And also, Negan is on the island. But then where is he? Who is the this woman? started out, you thought you had your hero, but he got away. What in the world is going He's on right now? Off stage. They'll come from what we've built. So they're working together then, like, so we have to be ready. and she knows Negan. Just why we need him. I will find him. Oh, hmm, yummy. That's sanitary. What the hell? I'm so upset that they're dead. Like, I literally am so upset. I'm more upset that Amaya's dead, but like, I just really liked those characters. And now Maggie, like. You're the one to look over a kid, but you're like faint. So I'm gonna need you to put that oxygen into your mouth and start breathing. I never show him your doll. And the truth is, I still can't let him know that you're here. Or else it all falls apart. It's true. I'll take you back. Oh wait, I'm stupid. We already knew that the Croat knew because we knew that, that, that he broke in and took Herschel from the... Okay, that was stupid, obviously, Ryan. Need. Duh, sorry, I just had a brain Need fart. Like, after all this that new, that Negan is doing to help him, how can you just, like, still try to kill him? Like, that's just, that's messed up. I'm getting, like, deja vu to the smell of buses right now, and I definitely don't miss riding the bus. That's right. This would be a good little place to, like, stay in and rest and stuff. It looks kind of comfy. Obviously, there's bigger problems than going to bed right now, but I don't know how they just like f are always constantly fighting like I need to sleep and I would totally just be taking a nap right now Like that blanket in the background. I would be cuddling My in brother. with that and going to sleep like His name was Joel. So when he got that job on the docks, but he was restless too. In and out of jail. One night my folks caught him breaking and looking to steal from him. He attacked my mother. Oh. Wow. So I, this was the last time I ever heard from Joel. Couldn't bring myself to So open. he abandoned his brother and then he died. You'd asked me back then, I would have said yes. But now. Now that you've seen him and what he went through. I really hope that the Marshal is in season two. I hope that he doesn't die in the next two episodes, but so far this show just is killing everybody, so. Wow, there's just so many dead bodies everywhere they go. Maggie, sister, we gotta put that oxygen mask on. We really don't got time for this echoey, blurry, fainting crap. Especially when you're crawling on top of dead people that could very much be alive. Ew. Of course. 
Ugh, of course. And she's stuck in that, like, walker. What? What? What is that? Is that a variant and it has multiple arms? Oh my god! What in the hell? It literally has more than one head. Oh my god! It has a head in its... It has heads in its stomach! What the? What is this? Maggie, you're literally too weak to be fighting a 60 head zombie. Oh my gosh! Don't ever scare me like that again. I'm realizing now that I'm looking at it, it's like a bunch of walkers, like, somehow combined. It's not an actual walker with 10 different heads. I'm understanding that now, but... But that was the most, ins like, one of the most insane walkers we've ever seen in this show, honestly. Why do I feel like she actually just, like, is gone and left her? <gasps> oh! Girl, what? I hope this girl, like, I don't know what, but I just need her to go. She's uh, pissing me off. Liar. Girl, shut the hell up. What is that? Did they not steal all of her grain? Maggie, you're almost there. You're almost there. Girl, keep, keep rocking, keep. Oh, Maggie. Oh my God, I know she's gonna pass out right before she gets there, like. No! Come on, Maggie, you're so close. You're literally so close, Maggie. Okay, so she made it out. Good. Wait. So is it like... Was he like... Bring me Negan and you can have your son back? Because he knows all about Maggie. He knows all about everything. Girl, she's going to get captured or something. I already know it. Like, this isn't going to end well. What are you doing? Because Negan's definitely not the only one that just saw that. My god, this little girl is so stupid. I don't like Ginny. She's annoying as hell. But anyways, her aside, what does that flare mean at the end? Does that mean like she just signaled? Who did she just signal? Did she signal the like... I don't know, because Maggie used that to signal the bricks in the first episode, but, like, they're in Manhattan. They're not going to see it, obviously. Um, but, like, obviously everybody is going to see that in the city. Like, the Croat's probably going to see it. Negan saw it. Maggie saw it. Like, I don't want like, ugh, this little girl is just getting on my last damn nerve. Anyways, so, this episode, I feel like so much happened, but also so little. Like, it was predominantly Negan and the Marshall and Maggie stuck in the um, sewers, but we lost two characters this episode after finding out that one of them, Tomaso, kind of, like, betrayed um, his girlfriend, Amaya. But I'm so mad that Amaya is dead. I really liked her. I really wanted to see her in season two, and I'm just so upset that she's gone because I don't know I just liked her. Like, she was a very likable character. And also... I really wanted the show to have, like, a season two cast, like, carrying over from season one, and right now it seems like it's literally just gonna be Maggie and Negan, because all the other characters are dying. Um, we only have one episode left, which is insane, um, but, yeah, so we kind of saw more of how the Croat took Herschel, and then he gave Maggie the poster of, for him being wanted, so it kind of sounds to me like... Um, Maggie was more of taking Negan to trade him, I guess, because, like, I don't know, we didn't get to hear what the Croat was saying, so I don't know if he was, like, bring me Negan and you can have your son back, like, I want Negan, or if, I don't know, because, like, he kind of had Negan and let him go, so I don't really know 100% what's going on with that, hopefully we get more explanation next episode, 
Um, one thing I forgot to say in the beginning of the video about the last episode is I really wanted to see more of Simon and that, sort of like the pre-Rick and Alexandria era. We, like, got a few flashbacks and then they just didn't show much more, so maybe in the finale we'll see more. I don't know. I really would love to. Um, but, yeah, that walker was insane. Like, well, walkers, because it was a bunch combined, but... I, at first, I thought it was literally, like, a walker that had six heads and, like, ten arms. But it was just, like, a bunch of walkers combined into one, like, becoming insane or whatever. But, yeah, I overall enjoyed this episode. I think it was a little slower than the rest, but it was still really good. And, obviously, the finale's next, so, what? Well, like, they're probably trying to save it. And, also, we saw the Croat meeting with this one woman who it seems like they're working together. And she knows about Negan. She wants him to get Negan. So... It just seems like Negan has a lot of targets on his back right now. Um, but, yeah, overall, like, this was... I really did enjoy this episode. Um, and this show, I've enjoyed so much so far. I, the five episodes we've watched have all been good. Um, and I'm pretty positive fina the finale will be, too, because it's the finale, so a lot more is going to go down. Um, but, yeah, I really can't wait to watch it and see... I'm sad it'll be over, but I'm really excited to see... How they're going to wrap up all this story that we've been um, seeing unfold for five episodes. Because it's been a lot that's been going on. And they've been doing a great job at um, setting up the story and, you know, all that. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in full link reactions to this show or any other show I'm reacting to, you can click the link down below to my Patreon and subscribe over there to that. Um, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.